Starts off from the numbers on the blocks. Lane seven toward the top. Lane two closest to you. Dustin Lasko, obviously he's a back half swimmer, so don't, you know, get upset if you're a Cal fan and you don't see him ahead. But right now he is ahead, which is unusual for him. He normally likes to back half this. But look right above him, Jack Dolan from Arizona State is right on his shoulder. Maybe a little adrenaline, go adrenaline going for Dustin Lasko here as he took it out fast. Cal has the fastest time of the conference this year, fourth fastest time in the nation. They're a second faster than Arizona State's best time so far this year. Also, you've got in lane two at the bottom of your screen, Utah is in the mix as well right there. Yeah, Leon McAllister, very fast backstroker in his own right. And now for Cal, Reese Whitley, the champion of the 100 breaststroke earlier tonight, is in the water in lane number four. Just above him, the great Leon Marchand, who won both IEMs. And look at Marchand go just above Whitley in lane number five. His underwaters are absolute perfection. If you are a young swimmer and you are watching this, first of all, look at that stroke. You can see how he just surges forward with that kick. But this is how you do it. This is how you do underwaters. Reese Whitley's right there on his hip, but it looks like Marshawn is doing amazing, as well as Utah in lane two. They're still hanging in there. Yeah, Jay Corner was fourth in the 100 breast. They got two strong legs to begin it, do the Utes. Leon Marshawn earlier tonight broke the all-time record in the 400 IM. He's going to pass the baton to Max McCusker, who was third in the 100 butterfly. Reese Whitley for Cal gives it off to Dare Rose for Stanford. Andre Minikov is in the water. He was the champion in the 100 fly. They're in lane number three, looking to come from behind. But McCusker is increasing the lead. Look at this. That is a beautiful stroke. Look at how he's getting his hips up to throw his arms up and over. You are kicking not just down. You kick down and up. And that is that what makes it look like undulation. But it is not. Look at this. This is incredible. I have not seen anything like this in a minute. Look at that lead. Max McCusker, third in the 100 butterfly, bringing it home here, and he'll pass the baton to Grant House, who's the 200 free champion the last couple of years, including tonight. And now House hits the water, a clean exchange for the Sun Devils. Keep an eye on Stanford in lane three. Minikov had a good leg. He gives it off to Luke Maurer, and in lane four, Bjorn Seeliger, the defending champ in the 100 free in the water in the yellow cap. Now Grant House is doing great. Remember, he is a 200 freestyler, so he has got a back half. So if any of these guys want to keep up with him, they have got to do it right this second. He is on the other lane line, away from those other two gentlemen, and it's going to come down to a tight finish. It's Grant House in the white cap. The meet record, 301.45, set by Stanford last year. Grant House coming on strongly. He's going to beat out Seeliger and Maurer, and Arizona State has it, 301.39. It is a Pac-12 championships record. They beat the time by Stanford from last year by six one hundreds and three oh one thirty nine is the third fastest time in the country this year.